All right, I'm just gonna finish up these legs. I found that uh, my legs were too big or too thick on one side. And so I'm gonna have to even that thickness of the leg out a little. Time to play with some clay. One way I keep myself in the studio and I can buy clay to work with and pay for the internet to put the uh, videos that I shoot on to the web is through my sales of my uh, instructional videos. Um, if you're so inclined, uh, check the link below this video uh, where I have a review of all nine of my current instructional videos and uh, see if you possibly find anything interesting there. Um, I pretty much give you my over 50 years of experience in sculpting, and uh, I'd really appreciate it if you'd uh, consider purchasing one or two or even all my videos. Um, they're streaming online on Vimo, and uh, you need a passcode to see them. But that works forever as long as you have that passcode and the link. So please uh, consider that and let's get busy on sculpting now. End of promotion. All right, I got a new product this morning and it's called Turpin Turpinoid. And the way I found out about this was watching a, a video of the Stan Winston studio on uh, YouTube and they were showing that this, this liquid was great for smoothing out clay so I'm gonna probably try this out probably in the next week or so when I get ready to do the finishing touches on this clay to uh, take out any rough areas that I don't want I know you guys must be getting bored watching me work on these little small areas, but uh, that's part of sculpting. It's uh, the excitement of the idea, but then you got the boredom of detailing. I don't mind it. I, I kind of enjoy it, actually. Because I'm learning every time I do something. I've got the heat on because it's in the 20s outside, and it's a little cool in the studio without the heat going. I took a, a detailed shot of uh, my maquette, my horse maquette, and I'll show you the maquette. That's my maquette right there. Okay, a little bit of the bone of the leg shows through. It's right, uh, it's basically just covered with the skin of the horse. And I'm bringing it down to the joint of the leg. Oops, dropped it. Ah.
Okay, for me to even out the uh, thickness of the leg, I'm going to have to take this hair that I did on the tail off. I'll redo it. I mean, it's no big deal. But I need to get that leg a little thicker on this side. All right, I'm trying this terp, uh, terpenoid out that I just received to see how it works. And uh, maybe it's too early to figure, you know, see how it's having an effect on the clay. Right now, I'm not overly impressed. I dipped uh, this uh, foam into the terpenoid to give it just a little more tooth to the uh, smoothing process. Hmm. Not sure I like it yet. Well, I'll keep experimenting with it and see how it works out. I think what I'll do is I'll try out some uh, lighter fluid and see if it uh, compares. Now, well, both legs look pretty good now. Okay, I'm using lighter fluid on this side. I want to see how aggressive it is compared to the other side. Yeah, see, this is smoothing a lot better. And that's uh, Ronson all you could get at any grocery store or drugstore. Maybe if you're using a softer clay, the uh, terpenoid would work out better. I don't know. I don't know what kind of clay Stan Winston Studios use. Now, I'm not going to be able to do any more with these legs today because they got all this terpenoid and lighter fluid on it, and it's going to take time for that to uh, evaporate. I'll pick this up tomorrow. I should be able to finish these legs tomorrow. Then I can start working on the tail. All right, that's going to be it tonight, and I'll see you uh, next time. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.